Hey, I'm Jim, the founder of Tore Cosmetics, a London-based business offering pure and raw cosmetics. I have loved natural ingredients since I was a kid. It started at my dad's spices store where I was amazed at the colors and smells. By then, I knew I wanted to explore the world. That's why I have decided to share my journey with you. Follow me and discover sustainable initiatives, natural stuff, and encounters with producers, local farmers, and more importantly, good people. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to meet with Henrietta, the founder of Elsa Organic Skin Food, a brand offering organic deodorants. She will tell us her story and why it is important for her to make natural skin care. Also, we will talk about the cosmetics industry. Follow me, we are going to the authentic borough of Greenwich. Hi everyone, we are here at the Greenwich Peninsula uh, at uh, North Greenwich. I'm here with Henrietta, the founder of Helza Skin Foods. Today we'll talk about natural skincare and about her brands. Uh, can you introduce your brand and uh, how did you create it and everything? Yeah, um, the skincare brand is Elsa's Organic Skin Foods and I launched it at the end of 2017, so we've been running just four years. We The original thing was to formulate a deodorant that worked. It wasn't really to start a brand or a business, it was to solve a problem. The okay. problem was the teenage sweat. <laughs> um, I personally was using a conventional deodorant that I had for years and years, so I didn't know about the natural deodorant market. I checked out all natural deodorant brands. They constantly let them down. They didn't work. They smelled lovely, but were not effective. So because of my background in cooking and also my mother, who is Elsa, the name of the brand, she often would make a few skincare formulations just for the family. I thought it was easy to um, coordinate my cooking skills and my okay. research skills and formulate from home, use the internet, fantastic ingredients, which I've always believed in, for example, coconut oil, shea butter, the very best um, natural and pure, most unrefined, re unrefined yeah. products, which are richer in vitamins, as we all know, and okay. um, fatty acids and everything. And I formulated the actual deodorant from very basic ingredients to much more complex Um, one with skin food ingredients so the minerals is magnesium it feeds your skin and it also is the active ingredient which changes the pH of your skin so bacteria can't thrive and so <laughs> it took nearly three years no 18 months of formulating Whoa. you know and I tested it not on me on them okay the teenagers so 14 year old and that was the main person because the others weren't smelling at that point So when one I got that worked, I ran out of my conventional. I didn't switch yet. I, I said, oh, I've got to use the stuff that I make now. So I used it up and it worked on me. Being a smelly, sweaty person, I said, right, that's a good business. As I'm not doing. Oh, okay, okay. And I followed through to launching at events in London, you know, some big shows. And I got a lot of customers from that. And now we are selling in different parts of the world, not massive volumes. And we're also selling in eco shops, mostly in London, mm -hmm. Bristol, and Wales, and selling online as well. And okay, okay. And where, where, so where are you based now? Your I'm me personally. I'm based in Gloucester, so all my formulations were done in Gloucestershire. Okay. In my kitchen, literally, I have a basement where I now formulate new products because I have a line of things I really want to pursue. I also am using a contract manufacturer, okay. which is based in Plymouth and we'll see how that goes that, that's perfect that's so, yeah okay so you 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 made all the recipe but all, all the recipe formulated myself okay. i'm not scientific but you have to be very scientific okay you have to literally document every single like one gram can make a difference to the entire formula you have to also consult cosmetic safety laws all this, this the cpso oil. and all CPSR, these are yes these are documents to prove it's safe and That your ingredients have come from a reliable source and are good for skin use and that they're not going to irritate and um, any warnings and allergens have to be also listed and they usually come in the form of essential oils but i learned a lot i'm only allowed to use what like for example one percent essential oil so that affects mm -hmm. the whole formula 
and then even in that you'll find some essential oils you can only use 0.025 that's rose oh, okay i see i see be very li- restricted because it can be highly allergic i have um, a question about uh, the business the cosmetics business how do you find uh, did you st- how do you um, did you struggle to to create the company uh, with the covid-19 do you have um, you know any um, yeah, things this- was interesting because a lot of brands have popped up and used the time I already am self-employed forever so it wasn't a huge difference sales did go down that was tough because you had I had customers ringing oh no I don't have to wear deodorant I don't go to the office and then I had customers ringing ah my daughter say I stink I need to wear deodorant at home we're gonna order again so they went down and now they're dipping back up they went down quite a lot with the shops obviously retail was off But I haven't, in all honesty, um, really invested in getting the digital platform together yet. That's why it hasn't taken off in that way. Okay. But of course, the future is digital, and retail is hit and miss. See what happens. It really is. The shops now have started ordering again abroad, okay. especially. Yeah. So that's good. Brexit has been another thing. Yeah. Uh, the big that's thing. That's a pain. Yeah. That's a pain. Yeah. I have to do so much more paperwork. And there's charges which some retailers I split. So mm-hmm. here, for example, I have to split the um, the custom charge because they don't they can't put the price up. So there's other issues. I think the future is to try and get more sellers here in Britain. Okay. And then see what happens. We are going plastic free on the sticks, so that will increase the volume of um, the product. I see. And of course, I have to put the price up. So I think the premium route is the way. You know, I have four, three more premium deodorants to go with a detox. I'm also working on formulations with CBD. So okay. A brilliant um, uh, ingredient which helps with, you know, sensitive skin and also it's healing in, in the, um, the cannabinoids can actually heal. And you speak about no plastic uh, container. So you believe in sustainability or? Yeah, that's, I think all businesses, it has to be standard with the okay. climate change we're facing. The over use of single use plastic has to end. There's so many different ways of doing it. And with cosmetic products, I think we're one, personal care is one of the worst polluters. Mm-hmm. So many shampoo and shower gels and whatnots and deodorants <laughs> to the face. Yeah. But it's going that way. And the alternatives is easier to get for small okay. businesses. Because you know you still have to buy a thousand or ten thousand. But the tube we're using, I've tested it for a good few years. I was going plastic free when I launched, but the, the tube didn't work. Okay. I bought quite I a few, just trialing it. And it, eight would work. Two out of every eight, out of every ten didn't work. Finally I found a British company in Birmingham and their one works on every one. There's challenges because plastic is so brilliant and malleable. Yeah. But with this, it, the, the, the design was right, it pushes up. There's techniques you do, you have, you have to do a little bit of faffing, like damp it down for it to go down so you don't push it with your finger. So that challenge is met. And I, I think more and more there is bioplastics, there's compostable, there's biodegradable plastics coming out, which degrades in 90 days. So there is more materials for us to use. You can't think about launching in single-use plastic these so. times. Mm. Uh, th- thank you, Ramita. We, we are here at the end of the um, interview, so I just have a last question. How can we find you? So you tell me that oh, okay. you can find on, on the website. Yeah, the website uh, is www.elsas.co.uk. Yeah. We're on Instagram, Elsas Organics. Okay. And we're on Facebook, Elsas Organics. Um, basically, mostly online unless you're lucky enough to be near the local shops. But we hope to expand the retail in this country. And cool. I think we all should be supporting, like you two amazing small businesses, because okay. we have got the, <laughs> the, we are taking, we are the ones who are making the changes. We're the ones who are encouraging the big businesses to reduce plastic, use more solid cosmetic formulations. You know, the carbon neutral element where is less waste less um, energy to manufacture and produce things and it is the small business leading the way thank yes. you so much uh, Arieta okay. just don't forget to follow to Re Cosmetics on Instagram Facebook on the website and so thank you so much have a good day and see you soon bye